In this video, I'm going to tell you about Effectors, an automation feature that allows you to synchronize structure attributes to Jira fields. This functionality makes it possible to write attributes that only exist in structure, such as formula column values, Gantt chart scheduling dates, totals of numeric values, nodes and others to Jira fields. With Effectors, users will be able to create calculated fields in Jira built and managed right from structure without using any additional scripts. Let's take a look at how this can be done using the attributes to issue field effector. In this example I'm going to use it with a formula column which allows you to calculate custom values with the use of Excel-like formulas. Combined, the formula column and effectors can make a powerful tool for updating Jira data with important insights. As you can see, our stories are currently unassigned. I want each story to have the same assignee as its parent epoch. First, I've created a formula to return the parent assignee value for each story. Notice they match the epoch's assignee. Next, I'm going to add an effector to write those values to assignee field of each story. To add an effector, click the plus button, select effectors, and select the attribute to issue field option. Then configure the following fields in the effector dialog. The name of the effector. By default, the name is given based on the selected Jira field, but you can change it. A column from which the attribute will be taken. In this case, that's our formula column. A Jira field to which the attribute will be written. In this case, that's the assignee field. A JQL query-based filter. This is an optional field that allows you to limit the scope of the effector to just update issues that match the query. In our example, we want to limit the changes to stories only. Since there are no values for epochs in the formula column, if we leave this field blank, all our epochs would end up unassigned when we ran the effector. You can also select whether you want to send email notifications about Jira updates made by the effector or not. If you click Save and Run, you'll be taken to the Run Effectors dialog right away. Clicking Save will save the configured effector, but it will not be executed until an explicit action is called by a user. To run the effector, open the drop-down action menu on the right and click Run, or click the Run button in the toolbar. On the Run Effectors screen, you can select whether you want to preview the changes before uploading them or not. If you selected to see the preview, before anything is uploaded to Jira, you'll have a chance to review all potential changes. You can either apply all changes or select only some of them, or you can dismiss them altogether. After clicking Apply, the progress of the attributes being written to the selected fields will be shown in the Progress window. This may take a while, depending on the scope of your effector. To continue working with structure while the effector is running, simply minimize the window. The progress will be shown at the bottom of the structure. You can maximize the progress window once again by clicking on it and clicking the Open button. After the effector finishes its job, you can click View History to review the changes. When you've finished, click Acknowledge. New values were written to Jira and our stories now have the same assignees as their parent epochs. If you don't need to use the effector again after it's done, you can remove it from the structure. This will not revert the changes you've already written to Jira. Reverting changes made by an effector can be done from the Manage Effectors page, which you can open from the top structure menu. It shows the history of all effector operations that were applied to issues in all structures. You can revert any change made by an effector by clicking the Revert button. In another example of what effectors can do, I'm going to create an attribute right in the effector and write it to a Jira field. The attribute will not be represented by a structure column. It will be calculated by a formula right in the effector's configuration and then synchronized to Jira. Selecting the formula option as the value source in the effector's configuration opens a formula field. My goal is to take story points of stories and add their aggregated values to their respective parent epochs. 
After creating the formula, the story points field should be selected as the field to write to, and the scope of the effector should be limited to epics only. And once the effector is launched and its run is completed, epics will be updated with the new story points values aggregated from the storysys values. Thank you for watching.